Hi, this is John Reed, ASUG Sapphire Now 2017. I'm joined by Jackie, CIO of Jack Links. How's it going? Yeah, it's going well, thanks. Unfortunately, you did not bring any product with you, so I'm a little disappointed about that. That is true. <laughs> that is true. But, <laughs> but check it out at the yeah. local convenience store yeah. or Target or you supermarket. You say pretty much anywhere we can find them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and also maybe out here if I can get a break. I'll see if I can track one down. Anyway, you have an interesting turnaround story to tell us about that involves HANA and other SAP initiatives. but. Before we get there, tell us a little bit about um, Jack Beef and what you do there at Jack Links. Yeah. Um, so I joined the company about two years ago, and mm -hmm. I lead the technology organization. We're a team of about 50 people global. Um, so we have offices, business, and EMEA. Um, we also have local um, operations, mostly in the Midwest, where we actually produce product and then distribute product, and we mm -hmm. have IT folks in each of those locations. Um, and so when I joined the organization, um, one of my primary goals was to get the, get the technology team closer to the business, working with the business, and also make sure that we were performing at the, the level that the organization expected. So Jack yeah. Links is a high growth organization. Mm -hmm. um, we are already the category leader in um, protein snacks, meat snacks in the, the country. And we take that really seriously, and we want to yeah. continue to grow our market share and our business. So you need to have a technology team that's also ready to perform at that level, too. Yeah, sure. When you and I were talking before we started filming, the challenges you were sharing when you first started are resonated with a lot of the IT managers we've spoken with, things like disconnects with multiple systems got to get under control, and then also people and morale issues and getting out being out of touch with the business, where right. is that kind of the environment you were dealing with? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So when um, I joined Jack Links, and we're a, t a team, like I said, of about 50 people, and so I had the luxury of getting to know each person mm -hmm. individually. That's always the first thing I mm -hmm. do, is get to know the team, get to know the people, what's working, what's not working, yeah. and quickly started seeing some patterns around disen disengagement or disconnection from the business as well as not um, being viewed as a partner or a, a contributor, but more as an order taking operation, back office function. So the team has worked really, really hard over the last two years to really mm. get closer to the business, understand the business, as well as understand how technology is enabling the business. And your story is interesting because you have the culture change piece you've been working on, but then there's a technology change part because you were running SAP when you joined, but as you were telling me at the time, you weren't getting a lot out of the, or as much out of the system as, as they might have been hoping. That's right. That right? Yeah. So I think we implemented SAP um, was before I joined the organization uh, about five years ago. Um, and like many technology implementations in many organizations, I was a, um, a big retailer before I joined Jack Links. You implement a technology and then you move on to the next technology right. implementation without really thinking through how do we make sure that this um, technology and the processes around it are hardened in the business. And that, that extra step, which I believe is the most important step, did not get um, executed mm -hmm. fully. So we had a group of folks who were using um, SAP in the way that they knew how to use it, not necessarily in the way that it was designed to be used. So we spent um, a fair amount of time over the course of the last 18 months not only building out new capabilities um, like APO, TPM, but also making sure that our organization knew how to use the core functionality mm. within SAP. Got it. And you also moved ahead with HANA in the meantime as well? We did. What was so the rationale behind drinking that Kool-Aid? <laughs> 2016 was a big year for wow, technology you did all that at in one Jack year? Links. We did. Oh my God. Yes. So we signed contracts at the end of 2015. We're well on our way to all those projects. So we mm. implemented APO, HANA, and um, TPM all in 2016. Wow. And the rationale there, I had mentioned that Jack Links is an aggressive, high growth com, um, organization. And if we mm. want to do something, we go all in and we do it very quickly and very aggressively. And these technology implementations were no different. Mm. So our reason for HANA was really two, twofold. One is to make sure that we had um, the, the right back-end system platform to support mm -hmm. our TPM implementation. So our, right. our TPM is running on HANA. Um, we also put BPC on HANA. I guess we did that in 2016 okay, as well. Okay, add that to the list. Okay. Add that to the list. Um, and then we needed a better solution for our enterprise data warehouse, and we decided to Got use it. HANA in that regard too.
So is it too early to talk about results or are you starting to begin to see the benefits of the We are starting technology? to see the benefits of all of those things. Okay. And um, we can see those not only from a technology perspective, but from a business perspective mm -hmm. too. So our, our prior enterprise data warehouse platform was built in S SQL, Microsoft product, um, homegrown, hand developed. And it primarily contained sales data, some finance data. And since we implemented HANA, we have been able to really reproduce all of that data as well as now we have um, all of our supply chain data, all of our inventory, we have BPC sitting on top of HANA. So we ascend, we now, for the first time at JetLinks, are really starting to build an mm. enterprise capability. Right. And doing that over the course of a year, um, whereas in our old platform, it would have taken us many years to get to the point that we are right now. So that's just on the technology side from an efficiency and yeah. optimization and perspective. And the business management's happy too from what they're seeing? Um, are they getting more visibility into operations? Absolutely, like especially again in our supply chain area. Okay. That is where we have been focusing on enabling the business to get better um, insight into mm -hmm. supply chain, inventory management, um, right. where we're going to have capacity issues, production issues. So we're absolutely starting to realize that. Um, mm -hmm. And my business partner, the head of supply chain, said to me a couple weeks ago, now I have all the data I need to run the business. And in the past, uh, I had been flying blind. So uh, it's music to an IT. It is. You'd love to hear when your business partner yeah. tells you that things. We can sing our praises all day long, right, but, but once you hear it from a exactly. business leader, that's a very different, Whole different solution. Story. Yeah. So now we are looking at how do we extend those capabilities and how not only do we leverage the, um, the SAP or the internal data that we have, but how do we start aligning that or joining that up with external data that we already mm -hmm. purchased too from Nielsen and some of those external organizations. Cool. We should wrap up in a sec, but tell me, how, how has the mood of, of your team changed? Have you seen a significant shift in morale and energy now that they're working more closely with the business? There is no doubt. And cool. that doesn't mean um, that everything is perfect and that we still right. don't have work to do. But I have absolutely no doubt that if I were to ask the team today, and I, this would be an interesting exercise to go through, the same three or four questions that I asked them mm. two years ago, they would be markedly different of what our challenges are. And yeah. I think the challenges today would be priorities. We have now more work than we can manage. Um, right. We're still learning these new technologies, so our yeah. learning curve is um, yeah. on, a, on a high, um, or a sort of a hockey stick glide um, yeah. because we've implemented so much and we're still learning through those There's things. no perfect happy ending to these types of stories, right? Because change is the constant. Right. But what it sounds like is everything's in the right direction, which is what you want. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I am super proud of the, the cool. team and what we've accomplished over sounds the last like two years. Sounds like you've done years. a lot of hard work, so congrats. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Yeah.